If you've ever needed to mask a moving subject in After Effects and you keyframed the mask path frame by frame, there's a better way by using the Roto Brush tool and then converting that to a mask. First, double click your footage to open it in the layer panel. Then grab your Roto Brush tool, go to the first frame, and start painting over your subject. If you mess up, just hold down the Alt or Option key and paint on the areas that you don't want to include. Then just let it play. If it starts getting off track, go back to that frame, fix the area, and let it play again. When it's done, you'll have a clean cutout of your subject, and for most people, that's all that's needed, but sometimes you need an actual mask. So just select your layer, go to the layer menu, and choose Auto Trace. Make sure it's set to Alpha, and let it play. That'll put the mask on a new layer, along with all these other little masks that it made because it gets confused. But just find the main mask near the top that goes all the way around your subject, Select the mask path and copy it. Now you can paste that path to any other existing mask path on your footage, or you can even paste it to a path on a shape layer. Then you can add a fill and any shape effects that you want to create interesting moving shapes for your motion designs.